Hi, Julie Powell here. I thought I might come into Photoshop and just show you a few really cool um, little lighting tricks that you can do um, using the gradient tool and also some of the render brushes. So um, let's just jump into it. I've just got a blank document here. I've just got it blue because why not? Um, and if you come over to your gradient tool here, um, you can do some really cool and fun funky stuff. So I'm just going to do a new layer and I'm going to select my gradient tool. Now if you come up here, you've got a couple of different options. So you have got um, the linear gradient, the radial gradient, there's the angle gradient, the reflected gradient and the diamond gradient. So um, the radial gradient is really cool for making lighting effects. I've just got it selected on black and white at the moment and I'm just going to draw a line across and it gives you this little ball. So what you can do to that is you can come in, you can change that to screen mode and you've then got this cool little lighting effect that you can move all over your screen. If you don't want to have it so strong you can come back to here, you can change this from just the white um, to transparent. So it's not, um, it's literally just going from white out to nothing. Again, you can change that to screen and you can move that around. Now, of course, you may not want it white. Um, so there's two things you can do. You can either clip a hue saturation layer to it or you can come in up here and you can change this to whatever color you want. Um, say you want it bright yellow, you can do that. And you can have it go from yellow to white if you wanted to or you can have it go from yellow to transparent again. It still goes through that white area but when you select it to screen um, and again, you can just move it around. It will chop off there because it hasn't gone off the edge. But you can mix that around. You can have it off the edge. Um, and you can do all sorts of things with that. The other one, which is also really loads of fun, is going in here to the diamond gradient. And I'm just going to change that back to the white. And you can pull that out maybe not quite so big let's go a little smaller um, and it gives you this really cool gradient now what you can do is if you add a layer mask to it come in with your brush on black and you can paint out the edges of it and make a really cool diamond pattern and of course change that to screen mode and you've got that and you can play around with how much of the the diamond pattern you want um, if you've gone too far obviously just change your brush back to white and you can paint that back in there like that so you can have your crossed star pattern doing it that way and that is obviously completely adjustable and if you change your color here to anything else let's go to red pink green whatever you still got the same star pattern there it is on its own layer i've only got the color underneath just so that it's easy to see not sure about the green let's change that back to something else it's a bit nicer to look at now yeah, we we'll go for blue um, another really cool one that you can do which is loads of fun is if you go into the render so i'm just going to pick a black layer as a new layer to start with I'm going to go to filter I'm going to go to render and then I'm going to go to lens flare now it will want to um, convert this to a smart object which is fine just let it do that and then you've got your different lens flares now it's really good to have a selection of these on hand and you can pop them in your um, libraries down here and you've got different ones that you can choose And that gives you a really really nice lens flare if you change that to screen it knocks the black out and you have got whatever it was underneath 
so if I change again the color of that I go to pink or something like that you have still got it if you get turn off that layer and just keep this layer you can so, save that into your libraries and you can then bring that up from time to time and use that as a lighting object and of course you can move it around on your screen um, so it just gives you a bit more leeway than trying to just use the render on its own um, but it is a lot of fun to play with um, to make your own lighting effects I just thought I'd show you two quick and easy ways to do it bye for now